Carpenters construct, repair, and install building frameworks and structures made from wood and other materials. In this video, we will go over what carpenters do, what the job market is like, what kind of money they make, and the top industries and metro areas for carpenters. Coming up. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Hack, and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel bringing you the latest, most up-to-date statistics on different careers. Subscribe to this channel for weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. Carpenters are versatile workers in the construction industry. They use many different tools to cut and shape wood, plastic, fiberglass, and drywall. Carpenters are experts in using squares, levels, chisels, sanders, circular saws, nail guns, and welding machines. They often fasten materials together with nails, screws, staples, and adhesives. Construction carpenters construct, install, and repair structures and fixtures of wood, plywood, and wallboard using hand and power tools. Rough carpenters, on the other hand, build wooden structures using sketches, blueprints, and oral instructions. 27%, a clear majority of carpenters, are actually self-employed. 22% work on construction residential buildings, such as single-family homes, townhouses, and apartment buildings. 13% work in non-residential building construction, and this could be commercial real estate or government buildings. 12% of carpenters work as building finishing contractors, and 10% work in foundation, structure, and building exterior contractors. Next, let's take a look at which of these groups pays carpenters the most money. Unfortunately, the government doesn't track the incomes of self-employed carpenters, so they aren't included in this list. Of the four carpenters that work in non-residential building construction earn the most money with an average wage of around $51,000. The second highest paying group is the building finishing contractors who earn an average wage of around $47,000. Carpenters that work as foundation, structure, and building exterior contractors make on average around $45,000 per year. And carpenters that work in residential building construction earn about $45,000 per year. Next, let's take a look at the historical job market for carpenters. Carpenters have had a volatile 20 years. In 1999, there were 771,030 jobs for carpenters. From 1999 to 2006, there was a gain of 214,960 jobs for carpenters. Then the recession hit and it hit carpenters extremely hard. Many carpenters worked for home building companies and many of these companies ended up going out of business during the recession. From 2006 to 2012, carpenters lost 418,170 jobs. In 2012, the government recorded 567,820 jobs for carpenters, and this is a 20-year low. Since then, the number of carpentry jobs has steadily increased. In 2018, the government recorded 718,730 jobs for carpenters. So things are finally starting to look up for carpenters. The unemployment rate also kind of mirrors this kind of graph. This graph is showing the unemployment rate of carpenters over the past 20 years. The worst year for carpenters was in 2010 when the unemployment rate hit 22.1%. That means almost one out of every four carpenters was unemployed in 2010. But since then, things have been looking up. In 2018, the unemployment rate of carpenters was recorded at 5.7%, which is almost at 20 year low. The past 20 years have been pretty volatile for carpenters. The question is, will this continue? Will more and more jobs be created for carpenters and will the unemployment rate continue to fall? Next, let's take a look at the government jobs forecast for carpenters. The government is very optimistic about the future job market of carpenters. They are forecasting an 8% job growth for carpenters from 2018 to 2028. The average occupation, on the other hand, is expected to rise by only 5%. Construction fields in general are expected to add quite a few jobs over the next 10 years as well. The idea is population growth should result in more and more new home construction, creating more and more jobs for carpenters. The number of jobs for carpenters depends on construction, and if construction slows, carpenters lose jobs. But if construction ramps up, carpenters gain jobs. Next, let's take a look at what carpenters earn nationally. In 1999, the national average wage was recorded at $34,420. By the year 2018, the national average wage was recorded at $51,120. So nationally, wages rose for carpenters by $16,700 over a period of 20 years. Finally, let's explore which metro areas are best for carpenters. The national average wage is around $51,000 per year, but certain metro areas pay more than this. So this top five list considers cost of living, number of jobs for carpenters, and the average local wage. Number five on this list is the Boston, Massachusetts metro area. There's over 13,000 jobs, and the average wage in Boston is $62,900. Number four on this list is the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania metro area. There's over 13,000 jobs, and the average wage in Philly for carpenters is $61,830. 
Philadelphia is also a lot cheaper than Boston. Number three on this list is the Seattle, Washington metro area. There's over 16,000 jobs for carpenters in Seattle, and the average wage in Seattle is $65,330. Number two on this list is urban Honolulu. There's almost 4,000 jobs. There aren't as many jobs as in Seattle or Philadelphia, but the average wage in Honolulu is $75,470. This is the highest paying metro area in the entire country for carpenters. And the best metro area for carpenters, in my opinion, is the Chicago, Illinois metro area. It has the jobs, there's over 20,000 jobs for carpenters in Chicago, and the average wage in Chicago is $70,440. Are you interested in becoming a carpenter? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.